the root and toot and roundup. To get things started, we need to all say, howdy, partner, because that's how you say, hey, friends, in the roundup. Okay, on the count of three, let's hear your best howdy, partner. Ready? One, two, three. Howdy, partner. Wow, that was pretty good. Here in the Roundup, we always listen to an amazing Bible story. And we get to listen to some mighty fine music. But before we get to all that, we get to have fun together. If you're ready to have some fun, let me hear you say, yee-haw. We've been having all kinds of fun this summer in the Roundup. And now it's time to see just how many animals you can name. Let's play Guess the Animal. Here's how it goes. I'm gonna show you an animal shadow and you see if you can guess what it is. I have a feeling y'all are gonna be really good at this. Okay, let's see our first animal shadow. Do you know what this animal is? He's big and he has really strong legs. Can you guess? If you said a horse, you're right. I knew y'all would be good at this. Let's see another shadow. Oh, this one is much smaller than the last shadow. It has very short legs and a curly tail. Can you guess what it is? It's a pig. Did you get it right? Oh, well, let's keep going. Another shadow, please. Oh, hmm. This one is even smaller than the last shadow. It has a pointy mouth and it looks like it has feathers. Do you know what this animal could be? Yes, it's a chicken. You are so good at this. Let's try one more. Shadow, please. Oh, this one is a little tricky. It's a big one, but it's not a horse. And it has a long, skinny tail. Want to guess what it is? Did you say a cow? Well, you're absolutely right. It is a cow. Well done. You are an expert animal guesser. We know who that is. It's our friend Trusty. And that means it's time for a Bible story. All right, cow pokes, sit on down. Now let me see your hands. Round it up and round it down. Lasso all the way around. Give your hat a quiet tap and put it right down in your lap. Take it away, Trusty. Hey friends, my name is Vinny and I'm so excited to tell you about what I was reading in my favorite book. Do you know what that book is? It's the Bible and the Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. I was reading my Bible and I read something amazing about a man named Daniel. Daniel loved God and he knew God loved him too. Daniel loved God so much that he prayed and talked to God three times a day, every day. Even when things got really hard and really scary, Daniel knew he could trust God. There was also a king where Daniel lived, and the king really liked Daniel, and he <laughs> wanted to put him in charge of everything. But there were some other men who worked for the king, and they didn't like Daniel so much. They were jealous of Daniel. These men tricked the king into making a rule that said people could only pray to the king, that no one could pray to God. The rule said that anyone who got caught praying to God would be thrown into a den full of lions. Whew, that is scary sounding, right? Like, can you make a scared face like this? Uh... Yeah, a den full of lions is really scary. So what do you think Daniel did? Do you think he stopped praying to God? Nope, Daniel loved God and knew that God wanted to talk to him every day. Later that day, Daniel did what he always did. He talked to God and thanked him. Daniel loved God and he knew that no matter what happened, God would be with him, even if he got in trouble. The other men saw that Daniel prayed to God and they went and told the king. When the king found out, he was very upset. He loved Daniel and didn't want him to be in trouble, but 
Daniel broke the rule. So he had Daniel thrown into a den full of lions and he had to stay there all night long. Oh no, it's a den. It's a den that was probably dark and it was full of lions. Lions would be scary. They are loud and scary and roary. Can you make a sound like a lion? Roar. Good job, whoa, that's scary. That's really scary. And Daniel was there alone in the dark in a den full of lions. The next morning, the king rushed to the den to see what happened to Daniel. Here's the amazing part. Daniel was okay. He didn't even have one scratch on him. He told the king that God had kept him safe. God kept Daniel safe in that den full of scary lions. And Daniel was so brave. He talked to God every day and he trusted that God would take care of him no matter what happened. <laughs> oh yeah, you can trust God to help you be brave too, just like Daniel did. Like if you have to go to the doctor and you feel a little worried, you can trust that God wants you to feel better and he can help you be brave. Or when there's a loud storm outside and you feel a little bit nervous, you can trust God to help you remember that you're safe and you don't have to worry. You can trust God and I can trust God. Let's pray and thank God that we can trust him. If you're ready to pray, give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Help us to remember that we can trust you even when things seem hard. We love you, God. Amen. Wow, that was a great Bible story. And you know what? I'm going to try to remember that I can trust God, and you can too. But the fun's not over yet. It's time to get on up for some singing and dancing. Have a hoot and hollering good time, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, friends. One, two, three, come hit the trail with me. Let's get on down and round it up, cause we can trust in God. No matter what. Here we go now, three, two, one. It's time to have some fun. So sing along now. Over there, I can trust in God everywhere. 